since Google announced the Google AI glasses at the tail end of 2024, companies have considered throwing out the rectangular display for something lightweight you could wear anywhere. Monitors, laptops, tablets, smartphones, they're all going away and their replacement is called Android XR. They will do to smartphones what the computer did to TV and radio. However, before you get too excited, let's uncover the game-changing features of these AI-powered glasses and why they might be too good to be true. Keep watching because the glasses have a fatal flaw. Google partnered up with Samsung and Qualcomm to announce the release of the Android XR glasses two weeks before 2024 Christmas. Imagine Android XR as the technology that combines the real world around you with cool digital stuff. XR stands for extended reality, which is like an umbrella term that covers virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Google even released a two minute video explaining some of the cool features of these Android XR glasses, which show you how wearable tech will shape the future of technology on a daily basis. The senior vice president at Google, Rick Osterloh, said, I think now is the perfect time to work on XR because you have a convergence of all these technologies and Gemini is key to powering Android XR. The underlying technology allows us to process inputs from all different kinds of signals, much like you'd process the real world. Imagine walking down the street and your glasses show you text messages, navigation, or even let you play games in the air. Pretty futuristic, right? Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Android XR is now just a platform or software for developers to create all of these cool apps and come up with innovative uses for the extended reality software. Currently, three features got me excited about the project. The first thing you can do with the Android XR glasses is you can smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the first thing that these glasses allow you to do is use integrated AI. Gemini 2 will be integrated into the Android XR system and we will be able to interact with the glasses. And Gemini will actually give you real-time advice, helping you with everyday tasks. So you could be walking down the street and you could get a text notification from your friend. Gemini will inform you about the notification and ask you if you'd like to read it or not. You can have these virtual notifications and screens popping over the real world view of the glasses, but you can also turn them off just by tapping the handle of the glasses with your finger. Besides message notifications, you can also ask Gemini for directions and suggestions about restaurants, shops, theaters, hospitals, and so much more. Just imagine how useful this would be when traveling to foreign cities where you don't know where anything is. Speaking of navigating daily life in foreign cities, Android XR can help you with real-time translation. Let's say you're from the UK and you don't speak foreign languages. Well, using the Android XR glasses, they will translate the billboards from any language to English. On top of that, when you speak to some of the locals, Android XR will translate what they're saying to you in real time. And it's not just speech to text, it's speech to speech. In other words, Gemini will be your carry-on translator. Just imagine how easy your travel would be with these glasses. You don't have to worry about language barriers or misunderstandings. The Android XR glasses are there to assist you and even give you advice on things you might not know. Speaking of advice on things you don't know, AI Vision takes WikiHow and turns it into a virtual assistant. So if you want to do something like installing that new set of shelves on the wall, but you don't know how, Google's Gemini will be there to help you out. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions for basic everyday tasks that you might not know how to do. Just by looking at it, your Android XR glasses will help you with cooking, flowers, building stuff, DIYs, and so much more. It will even give you images with examples of what the finished task is supposed to look like. Or you can point it at a clothes tag and it will tell you at what temperature and setting you need to wash that specific piece of clothing. But the coolest feature of the Android XR glasses is that they have spatial memory. 
What does that mean? Well, let's say you lost your remote and you can't find it. If Gemini saw the remote, it will tell you where it last saw it in your house. Combined with Google's project, Astra, which is currently only available on your smartphone, will be a game changer in the industry. When Astra, Gemini, and an Android wearable tech come together, the possibilities of what you can do are endless. So, for example, if you're walking down the street and you see a sculpture that you don't recognize, Gemini and Astra will tell you immediately just by looking at it. It's like going to a foreign country with a tour guide. Google achieved this immersive experience by reimagining how the display in the glasses works. And it's not just one, several cutting edge components make this display technology so advanced, but here are the four that are most important. The first is the micro OLED displays, which are tiny high resolution screens embedded in the glasses. They're super compact and provide vibrant colors and sharp images. Micro OLED is especially popular for XR because it offers high brightness, which is necessary for outdoor use. They also integrate Google AR Core software that works behind the scenes to process the environment, align virtual objects, and ensure that what you see looks natural. But that wouldn't be possible without the waveguide optics, a clever way to direct light and images from the display into your eyes. Waveguides use thin layers of glass or plastic to bend light, making the images appear as if they're floating in front of you. This technology helps keep the glasses sleek while maintaining a wide field of view. Finally, they rely on holographic optics, which project images onto the lenses. They not only create very precise visuals, but are also super lightweight. Speaking of lightweight, the Android XR glasses rely on bone conduction speakers and open ear speakers to provide an immersive experience without increasing the product's weight. The bone conduction speakers use vibrations to send sound directly to your inner ear through the bones near your temples. It's cool because your ears remain open to hear the world around you while still enjoying audio from the glasses. Meanwhile, the open ear, aka directional speakers, is built into the arms of the glasses that aim sound directly at your ears. They provide clear audio without isolating you from your surroundings. This is great for AR applications where you need to stay aware of your environment. Despite everything I've said so far, Android XR is still too advanced to be rolled out right now. And no, that doesn't mean people won't be able to handle it. It means that people won't be able to handle the price because it's going to be so expensive that only a few will be able to use it. Mark Zuckerberg had the same problem when they rolled Orion. If they released the glasses right now, they would be around $10,000. For new, partially complete technology, that's wildly expensive. After all, Apple struggled to sell their Apple Vision Pro, and they were just over $3,000. Imagine trying to sell something that's three times that, and on top of that, it doesn't work as well. Of course, you're gonna have problems finding the right market. So, while we wait for another like 10 or so years for technology to become cheaper and for companies like Android to fix all the issues with the Android XR, we should be seeing more of these astronaut helmet AR glasses. Android announced that Samsung will be rolling out something called Project Muhan, which looks very similar to the Apple Vision Pro. That's the only AR or VR set that the market is ready for. But the important thing is, we're at a major cross-section right now. It's like in the early 2000s, when companies rolled out touch phones, which later turned into smartphones. And now those smartphones are turning into smart glasses. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 